Okay, so I'm going to play you a little video. This is co-work with Avinash Bhaskaran, who presented uh, earlier. He and I worked on this for about um, a year. Um, this is, is two robots we've worked on. This A paper on this was recently um, published, uh, and um, I think the video explains it better than anything I can do. Okay, so you're about to see two robots, a large one, and a small one, which is uh, a controller. And the controller was used to develop gates for the large one. So this is the maximum expansion of linear actuators. It looks weird because it's in a tetrahelical shape. Mathematically, we know how to flatten it out so all six legs are on the ground. This creates a hexapodal shape, which is typical of robotics. Now this is the minimum size which it can reach, okay? Um, now we're gonna show you a gate with Avinash and I developed, which is called the inchworm gate. This would have been very hard to develop without the puppet, which is the black object on the table in front of this, but we use the puppet to develop the gate you're seeing here, which allows the robot to crawl forward. Um, this is a fairly sophisticated robot. Nobody else in the world has anything like this. This is at four times the speed showing how it, it moves. And you can see it's a little inefficient. Sometimes the, the foot slides the wrong direction. Now we're going to show you a turn. And the beauty of this system is that it's a, a system that can exert force on the, unit, on the outside universe, but can also locomote. So it doesn't need wheels. And now I'm using the puppet controller with my hand to move the larger robot. So um, it's a little like the movie Pacific Rim. You move the simulacrum and the larger object moves in response to uh, what, you're, what you're doing. And with practice, a human being can be very skilled at doing this kind of thing, which is very, very difficult to do mathematically. You'll see there's a hook on the front, the left-hand side of the robot. Avinash and I found it's very easy to make that hook hit a target and pick up an object. Uh, so now what we have is a robot that consists of only a few parts, which is capable of locomoting and picking up an object, all uh, with only a small set of components. 